Hi everyone, welcome to KTU Web. In this video, we will be dealing with a numerical problem in efficiency of riveted joint. In previous video, we already discussed what are the equations required to find the efficiency of riveted joint and how to find it easily. Now you can check with this numerical problem. This will be helpful for you to learn the topic in a better way. Okay, now uh, just go through the problem. A double riveted lab joint is made between 16 mm thick plate. The rivet diameter and pitch are 20 mm and 80 mm respectively. The permissible stresses are 80 MPa in tension, 60 MPa in shear and 120 MPa in crushing. Find the efficiency of joint. You could find a similar kind of problems in most of the standard textbooks. And these are some of the basic questions that you can expect in efficiency of repeated joint. And remember here, we are not dealing with uh, the dimensions and uh, design of repeated joint rather than it's simply discussing how to find the efficiency out of these given data. Okay, let us uh, check with uh, given data first. And whenever you solve a design problem, you have to check which kind of rivet that you have in that question. And right now we have the type of rivet as double riveted lap joint. Okay, whenever you're getting a particular type of lap joint, it is not necessary that you have to draw the diagram, but you should be aware about the system of that joint that will be helpful to understood how many number of rivet that we are using per pitch length. This is a better demonstration of double riveted lap joint. Hope you understood this term lap joint. If you have confusion, please check my previous uh, video sessions. For a lap joint, we will be having two plates we will be joined like this one above other. This is plate one and this one is plate so plate one is overlapped with another plate here the double riveted means we have a uh, two uh, rows of rivet within the plate you could see that we have two rivet and rivets are placed at a distance of transverse pitch p t so that is what p t and p is the pitch length that is the distance between consecutive rivets within a row and that we marked as p and now we have to find uh, what are the Q1 data. The first one we have, the joint is made between 16 mm thick plate. So the thickness of plate, thickness of plate is marked right here. That is the T, T is equal to 16 mm. Now we have the rivet diameter and pitch. The rivet diameter is 20 mm and uh, pitch is 80 mm. Then we have the values of uh, stresses that as we discussed in previous video, we have these three stress values. Permissible stresses in tension that we denote it as sigma t, then in shear and in crushing. Permissible stress in shear, what we denote it as tau. Permissible stresses in crushing, we denote it as sigma s. Let us check these values in from the given information of question. It is 80 megapascal and 60 megapascal and 120 megapascal. 80, 60 and 120 all are in megapascals. Now this is an important step in any of design problems that comes with uh, riveted join. That is you have to find a number of rivet. This information is very vital. That is number of rivet per pitch. This is the requirement of diagram of any joint when you find the number of rivet per pitch. Here we have a double riveted butt joint. You could see in this diagram. So we have to get how many number of rivets are the per pitch. So look at uh, the plan or top view of this diagram. We have uh, two rows of rivet and we are not uh, counting the entire system. We are counting number of rivet per pitch. So this is marked as pitch. You could see the small letter P marked as pitch. That is the distance between two consecutive points. Here we can count the number of rivet per pitch. The pitch line start here. And above that we have a first half of this rivet 
and uh, we have uh, another half of the rivet above and the similar way within this pitch you could find one half ear and another half above that from this diagram it is easy to understood we have uh, one half here and half plus half we have one rivet and uh, half plus half we have another rivet so in any diagram you could uh, use this technique to find number of rivets number of rivets is equal to n equal to 2 that we found then in any case when you find number of rivets you have to check how many of that is with a uh, single shear and how many of that with uh, double shear now rivet with single shear you could see in this diagram the elevational cross section of this uh, riveted joint will give you a better understanding which rivet is in single shear and which rivet in double shear but in the case of uh, lab joint we have only single shear you could see that in this diagram for this rivet there is only one shear plane that is right here when you apply a shear force it will cut into two pieces that is a single shear plane is there another rivet as well have only single plane of shear so the number of rivet with a single shear per pitch is equal to two similarly we can find rivet with the double shear here since it is a lab joint and this is a key thing when our lab joint is involved there will be no double shear rivets double shear rivet only comes for the butt joints so rivet uh, with the double shear n2 will be equal to zero in this case okay now we extracted the given information and let us do the problem we have to find the efficiency means there is a three efficiencies we first we will find those efficiencies then we have to check the least value will take that as the efficiency of the riveted join and that is what we are going to do for that purpose let us have these equations tearing efficiency is eta t is equal to tearing strength by strength of solid plate that is pt by p shearing efficiency is eta s that is equal to ps by p that is shearing strength by strength of solid plate now the crushing efficiency eta c that is equal to pc by p that is crushing strength by strength of solid plate we have to get all these three efficiencies and locate the minimum one we will take that as efficiency of riveted joint okay let us do this thing in a different way the least efficiency will be with the least strength so first we will be finding pt ps and pz and find out the minimum p value which one have the minimum stress we will find then after we can divide that with the strength of solid plate and we can easily get the efficiency or otherwise you can go for each and every efficiency and take the minimum one so first method is better way we could save the time okay let us first one tearing strength tearing strength pt is equal to p minus d into t sigma t that we derived in previous videos so we have pt is equal to pitch minus diameter that is 80 minus 20 into thickness that is 16 into sigma t is what 80 that we noted so you will be getting pt is equal to 76800 newtons so we got the value of tearing strength now we will be checking with shearing strength we have the equation of shearing strength p is c equal to n1 plus 1.875 n2 into pi uh, d square by 4 into tau we derived this equation in previous video so let us uh, apply the values here uh, you could identify one thing we don't have any n2 terms that is number of rivet with uh, double shear n2 is equal to 0 here and the term become 0 is equal to n1 is a number of rivet with a single shear that is 2 plus 1.875 n2 is number of rivet with double shear that is into 0 
into pi into d is the diameter of river that is a 20 mm so 20 square by 4 into the shearing stress capacity to that was uh, 60 megapascal so upon solving you will get ps is equal to 37699.11 newtons so this is the shearing strength of a rivet now we can have the crushing strength the crushing strength pc is given by n1t in a plus n2 into t of master plate here we have n1 is equal to 2 and n2 that is number of event double shear is equal to 0 and there is another thing the thickness of inner plate and master plate here for lab joint both the plates have same thickness that is ti is equal to t equal to 16 mm okay, let us apply those values pz is equal to n1 is 2 2 into 16 plus 0 into 16 into diameter is equal to 20 and a sigma c the crushing stress is equal to 120 okay let us calculate this thing pc is equal to when you go for a calculation you will be get 76800 newtons that much of a strength that we have in crushing so this is the value of crushing strength for this particular riveted joint so now we have to extract the minimum value to get the efficiency of that joint okay this we have a seven eight double zero newton for crushing we have three seven six nine nine point one one newton then for pt we have a seven six eight double zero newton so for pt and pc we have same value and it looks like the minimum value okay let us take this uh, 76800 as the minimum strength of this joint so we have the minimum strength is equal to pc that is equal to 76800 newton then we can find the efficiency of joint the efficiency of joint is given by minimum strength divided by the strength of solid plate that we denote it as p now we have the strength of solid plate or the plate without rivet we have that equation p is equal to pitch p into thickness t into sigma t that is equal to 80 into 16 into 80 so this will be getting you will be getting 102400 newton so this is the strength of solid plate without rivets so this that we consider as the strength or the maximum possible strength that you can manipulate with that rivet join now we can find the efficiency of join p minimum by the efficiency of solid plate that is equal to we have 76800 divided by 102400 so efficiency is equal to 0 0.75 it's what you are getting if you want to convert that into percentage we can multiply this with 100 so you will get efficiency in percentage as 75 percentage so this is the way that you can easily find the efficiency of any riveted join. So here we are taking the minimum strength and divide that with the strength of plate. And at last we found 75 percentage as the efficiency of that joint. Okay, we will be coming with a new kind of problems in rivets and hope you subscribe my channel. As always, thank you for watching.